Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are getting caught up on all the little small jobs around the farm. So, uh, as you guys know, over the last several weeks, spring has kind of, you know, held back from coming around. And I must say that I think today is the first day that spring is officially here. It's supposedly 66, but it feels like 86 outside. I really do not need this sweatshirt. But um, what we're doing today is all the little small jobs and a few of the things that we're doing is right now we're putting bales out for dad's cattle down at Travis's place and you can see them over there. I'm about to start putting out the fodder bales and after we're done here I am going to unhook the bale tines on the tractor, hook up to the bale carrier which Travis is filling up with, has filled up with fodder and I'm going to take that out to my place, unhook it, go back to the farm and get the 4020 and the feed mill because last week I thought I had and I grinded all of the corn that we would need for the following week which is today uh, so I'm going to take the feed mill out to my place unload it and then that way the calves should be good for another five or six days now I am pretty excited this year because I've decided to invest quite a bit of money back into how farms work uh, up until this point I've kind of just been running and gunning with what I have and I've been using a mixture of equipment between how farms work and my photography business. I've been kind of stealing some of my photography stuff to shoot how farms work videos with. And I am going to invest quite a bit of money. I'm not going to say how much, but let's just say it's north of 10,000. And this will be put into different things like my computer so I don't have to wait on crazy amount of buffer times. Uh, my computer can't really handle 4K footage, even though I'll, that's what I've upgraded to now. And not all of my cameras shoot 4K. So I'm investing quite a bit of money into cameras and just overall equipment that will help me produce as good of videos that I can make. And hopefully with all this new equipment that I'm getting, I should be able to make videos the way that I know how. And uh, that's why I'm kind of pretty excited for actually after this week. <laughs> because I've already started ordering some of the stuff. I've torn my computer apart. I've seen what I need to upgrade it, and I've ordered the parts. Uh, the parts for the computer are coming in. I've already got half of them, and I've installed those, but the real big one is coming tomorrow, I think, and I'm gonna tear my computer apart, break it down piece by piece, and then just kind of put it back together, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what it can do. And um, I've just spent so much time just waiting on the computer to buffer and it's things are gonna get real good real quick <laughs> so anyway I actually am selling my Phantom 3 which is my main drone currently so if you guys are interested in that you can go to the link down in the description I'll put it down there for anyone that's interested because I have had quite a few people contact me and ask me if I'm selling any of my cameras and um, I just figured I'd put this one on eBay and I'm not gonna have a reserve on it or anything but it is a good drone you guys have seen my footage that I've made with it um, all I'm really selling it for is because I bought a new drone and I'm really looking forward to using that one it's quite a step up from the one that I've been using and um, it's I don't know I'm looking forward to using it it's got a much better camera on it so all right well with that uh, we're gonna keep getting to work I've just got two fodder bales out now I'm going to put out two or three more, and then we are going to get all of the smallest, small jobs done. So as a famous man, much more famous than me once said, let's get her done. Oh my God. Rocket, go! What did you eat? That was bad, dog. You better not let it rip again. I've dropped the bale carrier off. Travis is on his way out here with the skid steer. I'm gonna head back, get the 4020, and help him put bales in for my cattle slash feed.
feed the steers in the pole shed corn. So let's head back to the farm. You're free! Rocket, come on! replace the bolt because the old one has bent and sheared off sheared out I should say hasn't sheared off so Looks good to me. Travis and I had to chase the steers out of the pole shed because of this. I came walking down here taking pictures last night just for fun and I noticed that they were really picking away at this much more than what I thought. I mean that's a pretty good space right there. So we chased them back up in and we're gonna have to pull some of that dirt that they've eroded back up and along the fence line because I saw right that is pretty wobbly so I don't know now that we got them out of there uh, we're just gonna kind of get this back to what it should be which throughout the summer what I like to do is I like to let the steers down here after the grass has grown up just to kind of give them like a little treat because if we let them run down here full-time then this is what happens especially after it rains and um, we need to go through and split them up and we need to move them out to the steer lot and there's plenty of grass out there anyway but uh it's just kind of a nice treat for the little ones i guess you could say and not being locked up in the steer shed full time so we're gonna head back to the farm and um might fill back fill the 4020 back up with feed and that way it's ready to go again next time and i i could really see us being pretty busy later this week if the weather holds out so Come on, Rocket. Travis is going to hook up the disc, and he's going to go disc down the waterways here at Rockville. Uh, part of the benefit of having a uh, new-to-us seed drill is that we can go through and redo all of our waterways, which some of them have been needing it for a while. Uh, what actually happens is the waterways that are grass are up higher than where the actual waterway should be, which means that the waterways have done their job. It's just that the water flow likes to flow around the waterways over time because 
as the water slows down, it deposits more dirt on the waterways and therefore uh, it, it slowly becomes higher than the rest of the field. So what we're going to do is go through disc down the waterways and that's why we're using the disc rather than the VTs because the disc throws more dirt and we're going to level it all back out and go seed down the lowest part or where the waterways should be. So while he's doing that, uh, while he's disking, I'm going to feed up, fill up the feed mill. So that way the steers are good to go later this week um, while things are picking up. Here's a pretty good view of the inside of the feed mill. fills up the cylinder in the center actually doesn't go all the way down to the bottom and the auger pulls up all of the feed once the feed mill is full to a point where it can actually start sucking in the corn at the bottom the cylinder with the auger in it brings up the corn and throws it around and mixes it and that's how the feed mill mixes the feed So one last thing before we call it a night, got the 4020 hooked up to the seed drill. I'm going to be seeding the waterways that Travis had dissed earlier. Now Travis went and picked up some grass seed, as you can see there. So it's not just alfalfa that we're putting down, and there's our oats. So we got plenty enough just to do what little we have here today. Um, I think we're going to be doing some more here in the following days, but I guess time will tell. You know, just 
and what we have to do. Um, we're just going around and we're trying to, you know, reconfigure the waterways to be more effective. Any places that are washed out, we may be considering putting in more waterways, and that's because uh, we want to slow down that erosion. So let's hop in, and before my battery dies, let's get this thing all finished up. This is the first pass that I'm going to do. Just a short, like, 50-foot stretch, nothing too fantastic. But then I got to do the road that goes up to the far hillside, and then another piece that goes down, as well as a piece on top of the hill. So let's get going. That's all folks. I finished seating down the waterways at Rockville and we may be doing some more tomorrow and the following day, kind of depending on the weather, but we'll come to find out. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but uh, yeah, we are gonna go through and try to fix as many waterways as we can and uh, go through, seat them down, and then we'll go through and harrow them after we're done seating them. So with that, my camera is almost dead. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment down in the comments telling me that you enjoyed it. And be sure to tell all of your family and friends about how farms work if you enjoyed this video as well. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated as we continue to move through spring. So with that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.